Hi everybody, subscribe to my daddy's channel and go to Quamstool 8 and click the thumbs up and click the bell and subscribe. Alright everybody, today we're going to be talking about Cyberflix. It seems that we have an update November 8th, version 3.0.9. I didn't do a last update on it because everything didn't work, but I tried this one and everything seems to be working fine. All right, once you go in, you can pick, choose which player you want, then go ahead and accept their terms. Just to go through everything real quick, over to your far left, you can press it. You got your TV shows, you got your movies, most popular, you can change that to in theaters, move, top rated, cyberflix list, adventurers, and so on. You can also do favorites. You, should not, you can also go into your TV calendar. And from here, you can go over to the far right corner and press that and you can choose the date that you're looking up. Just push it, change it and push OK. And it'll bring up that date for you. So you can go back and look at your shows from a particular date. Next thing, it has all the same features most as most of them. Just go over to the far right to settings and then press it again and you'll see them. You have your app language right here where you can choose what language you want to see everything in. You can choose your default player. You can auto mark episodes and just so on and so on. I'll scroll down and let you see which ones they have. You can also use your track account. got a lot of choices you can use on here it's got some for Android TV you can choose the providers you want and you can also use real debris all right let's get out of this let's get out of settings all right like I said everything is working now I'm gonna show you how to download this onto your system All right, to down Cyberflix uh, version 3.0.9 onto your system from scratch, here we go. First of all, go over to your right to settings. Go down and over to the right to My Fire TV. Press it. Go ahead and go to developer options and make sure to turn on ADB debugging and also turn on apps from unknown sources. When that page pops up right here, just click turn on. Then push your home button. From here, we're going to go over to apps, go down and over to the right to categories, scroll all the way down to utility at the bottom right there and go ahead and press it. And we're going to be downloading Fire DL right there. So go ahead and press that again. Once you see this screen, press it to download. And as always, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe. It's installing right now. Shouldn't take that long. There it is. It's ready. Go ahead and open it. Once inside, press your select button, and we're going to type in 716-768. Once you do that, the web page will pop up, and just press next right there. Shouldn't take long to download. We're going to download APK Time. All right, it's come up. Go down into the right to install. Once it's done, go ahead and go down to the right to open. Once you see the home page pop up, scroll down to entertainment and press it. And it has the apps in alphabetical order. So we're going to scroll down until we get to Cyberflix right there. When it's highlighted green, when your downloads highlighted green, just press it. And this is Cyberflix version 3.0.9, updated November 8th. All right, once this is done, go down to install.
My system's a little slow, but there it is. It's done installing. Just go to open. And you'll see this page letting you know everything that's been updated for this new version. Once you read it all, press OK. Press which default video player you want. Go ahead and accept their terms. And you're ready to rock and roll. All right, the choice is yours. Thank you. Three. Do not forget to swipe.